A revelation is a dramatic reveal of something previously unknown. Many thrillers gives the audience just enough information for them to piece together a bigger picture. Scenes, dialogue, music, and text can invoke questions within the audience but also help us understand the underlying theme of the story. Sometimes, however, information is hidden from the viewer but for a specific reason. As the plot builds up, this information is unloaded. Let's take a look at Ex Machina, a masterpiece in the art of revelation. In the movie, we have four characters of interest, Caleb, Nathan, Ava, and Kyoko. The first sequence of scenes have no dialogue whatsoever, but from the email he receives and text messages he sends, we know Nathan has won some sort of lottery. Already this gets viewers to wonder what this prize is. This is a very cliche shot in cinema, but it serves its purpose very well. A wide angle shot followed by a helicopter defines the vastness and seclusion that will be a part of this movie. The small amount of dialogue that proceeds only confirms this. How long until we get to his estate? <laughs> We've been flying over his estate for the past two hours. The music and color in the movie is one of the key components of the story. When Caleb enters the house, most of the undertones are blue, representing tranquility, comfort, and discovering new knowledge or truth. The music really creates this feeling of discovery, not only for Caleb, but for the viewers as we're introduced to the estate. Hello? Caleb Smith. Hey. When Caleb first meets Nathan, much of the background is flourished nature. The positioning of the backgrounds in the movie is not a coincidence. Well-lit, bright, green backgrounds represent Caleb in the story, whereas Nathan is represented by black and gray symbolizing his darker persona. We'll see later on Caleb has the most varying colors as his personality is the most malleable. We also learn that Nathan exercises in the morning if he got drunk the night before. The gray that he wears symbolizes his effort to distance himself from his darker self. Yeah, you're freaked out by the helicopter in the mountains in the house because it's all so super cool. Now the movie establishes Nathan as the dominant alpha male very early on. However, what's interesting is that it doesn't establish who is the protagonist and antagonist of the story. Some people think Caleb's our protagonist, but over the course of the story, we might even argue Ava is the protagonist. I guess it's for you, Caleb. Simple, but effective. Red represents areas in which Caleb can't enter, and blue represents areas in which he's allowed. Later on in the movie, Caleb enters a state of conflict, accessing red areas of the estate. Here is another example of Nathan asserting his intelligence to Caleb, as well as the viewer. It's the windows. You're thinking there's no windows. It's subterranean. It's not cozy. It's claustrophobic. Now here is one of the important parts of the movie. If we listen closely, we hear background music being introduced when Nathan mentions the Turing test. Again, this is not coincidence as this is the foundation in which the movie is based around. Do you know what the Turing test is? Yeah, I know what the Turing test is. The simplistic and precise text of Ex Machina is very fitting for the topic at hand. Over the course of the movie, we become more familiar with when it'll appear. The cool thing about Ava is that she embodies the image of a human being, but essentially is still a robot. The masterful sound effects added to her movements enhance this concept. Hello. Oh man, she's fascinating. Again, let's remind ourselves of the colors of the backgrounds. Still early in the story, Kalo's background is bright, giving us a sense of excitement. Nathan incorporates a darker image, but focus on the color of the shirt as well. Nathan only wears black, gray, and white. We know when he wears gray, but in terms of white, there's only two occasions where he does so further into the movie. Over time, Caleb's shirts also change to reflect his inner emotions. I've invented a machine with consciousness. I'm not a man, I'm God. 
I don't think that's exactly. I just thought, f man, that is so good when we get to tell the story. Oscar Isaac puts on an amazing portrayal of this character. The dialogue creates the perfect tone for arrogance and narcissism. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Her language abilities. Note the panning of the shot and how subtly Caleb enters Nathan's background. This is symbolism of Caleb entering Nathan's realm. As the scene progresses, the framing becomes key to understand whose world we've entered. One of the biggest questions and mysteries of the movie are these faces on the wall. People have suggested some of these faces are of Greek and Japanese gods. Ex Machina comes from the locution Deus Ex Machina, meaning God from Machine. It can be interpreted that machines can wear the faces of many, that they're not presented to be what we really think. What's great about Kyoko's character is how human she's presented to be. Always wearing white, she embodies precision and robotic accuracy. Hey man! Good morning. Good morning. Sorry to send Kyoko to wake you, but... The night before, Nathan got drunk. Exercise was definitely to be expected in the morning. Note the gray shirt as well. Also, let's keep in mind the backgrounds during this interaction. How does she feel about you? Judging by the music and the dialogue, can we predict session 2 text is going to appear after? Here is one of the most important scenes in the movie. We assume maybe Ava causes the power cuts and she reveals to Caleb Nathan might not be the person Caleb thinks he is. The red represents conflict and instability. Also note the sequence of shots. Ava's expressionless face, the camera's turning off, and then her face becoming quite grim. It depicts a great sense of urgency without saying very much. Power restored. And if we made a list of books or works of art which we left out? It's at this moment Caleb realizes how sentient Ava actually is. What about the power cut? Sorry. It's really great how Ex Machina stresses important parts to the plot by introducing music every time. Here, we have her mind. This is one of the few scenes where we see Nathan wearing white. He's at one of his purest moments, sharing his creations and passion with Caleb, playing God if you will. But one thing Icarus has taught us, fly too close to the sun and you'll only get burned. Here we revisit the color blue, but this time with Ava. When she wears the dress, she shows signs of comfort, the same way Caleb did in the beginning and now. What imperative does a gray box have to interact with another gray box? Can consciousness exist without interaction? This scene builds on the importance of interaction. In fact, it relates to a bigger scientific thought experiment. The idea is, if a robot understands and knows everything about color, but only lives in a black and white room, when it leaves the room and sees color for the first time, does it learn anything new? This is known as the knowledge argument, or Mary's room. Every possible property the color can have, but she lives in a black and white room. Here's the actual experiment described in the movie. So what do you think? Does Mary learn something new when she sees color? Proof of what? Come on, Caleb, you don't think I know what it's like to be smart? In this moment, there is a clear distinction between Nathan's blacks and Caleb's blues. It really helps that the background is also white. Caleb desires truth. This also guides the viewers on the same path of knowledge, piecing new information together. The next sequence of scenes really takes us into the mind of each character. Note the expressions and camera angles at work. One of the more notable as well as funny moments is the dance scene. Caleb is starting to realize Nathan's instability. Note the color red taking over this scene. But also understand there are blues, whites, and blacks as well. This is the beginning of the chaos that is unraveling. 
Why did you make Ava? That's an odd question. Wouldn't you if you could? Every time Caleb tries to understand Nathan further, it usually takes place outside of the house. But this time he's no longer wearing blue like he usually does, but closer to Nathan's colors, which is gray. If we remember from the other scene about understanding interaction, he had a half blue, half gray shirt. It was enough to symbolize this transition. Not only does this scene represent true crisis within Caleb's head, but also helps us understand that there's something truly wrong going on. Just listen. You were right about Nathan. Everything you said. What's he gonna do to me? This is the turning point in the plot. Caleb hasn't spoken this assertively throughout the entire movie until now. Dude. Hey. Hey. And with that, it seems the representation of the colors have switched. Now we have to ask ourselves, is this the true reveal of the story? Is Caleb really the bad guy? While the viewers ponder this new idea, Nathan reveals to us something we haven't considered before. A true revelation. A third option. Not whether she does or does not have the capacity to like you. But whether she's pretending to like you. You. Ava was a rat in a maze. And I gave her one way out. To escape, she'd have to use self-awareness, imagination, manipulation, sexuality, empathy, and she did. Now, if that isn't true AI... Now we're revealed the real test, manipulation. This is where the idea of Ava being the protagonist of the story stems from. I figured you were probably watching us during the power cuts. So I already did all those things. Ex Machina does stellar work in the pacing of the plot points. As we near the end of the movie, each reveal comes quicker and quicker. This creates that dramatic feel many thrillers require. Stop! Ava, I said stop! We see now that Nathan has lost the confidence he once had from the beginning of the movie. Note the white shirt, the final color he wears. Caleb is left locked inside Nathan's room, and within the frame, we can definitely see the black colored silo compared to everything else. And with any great movie, there will be a full circle, returning back to where we all started. But this time, it is Ava who enters the scene. The white dress represents the truth of the outside world. We can assume that Caleb is left to die in the room, but the true question is, what happens to Ava afterwards? As with all great works, there's room to interpret. That is the art of Ex Machina. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to see more in the future. If there's a certain movie you want me to analyze, make sure to comment down below on what movie that is. And as always, don't forget to take my words with a grain of rice.